How's it going, PA Woods and Forest community, and welcome to the Frog Week 2023 Pickerel Frog episode. One year later, and I seem to think this pickerel frog was calling out of aggression or territorial behavior because this was during the breeding season for the pickerel frog. This was one of the most popular and exciting scenes last year that featured pickerel frogs, so I had to make sure that we included it to pick up right where we left off from last year. See, the pickerel frog is a very mysterious frog species. It's very common where it occurs and where it's very spotty. It's almost as if you're finding a needle in a haystack. So every time I find one of these frogs, it's something that I easily document every single time. It always gets me excited to see these animals. I thought this year would be the most appropriate time to showcase all of the footage that I've acquired from Frog Week 2020 through Frog Week 2022 of these animals. They're just not something that I find every day. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. These images you're seeing are actually from the same animal in Frog Week 2020, except for this one in Frog Week 2021, where we found these animals where the eastern gray tree frogs had been discovered in Cambria County. Truly incredible to see a mysterious frog in a newly discovered frog in the same habitat but check this out my first ever encounter I didn't even have guys i didn't have time to grab my camera this is a pickerel frog it's the very first sighting ever ever in this woods ever i've never seen them in this woods i am beyond excited if i was able to have my own thing um guys i would love to study pickerel frogs they are super duper interesting it's always an amazing scene whenever one of these pickerel frogs is encountered on top of this hillside. It's something that I've never seen throughout my childhood and something that I very rarely see now in the western woods. But as you can see, the pickerel frogs utilize the hillside seepages coming off of the hillside. They also live in the adjacent woodland where this pickerel frog was headed to. But still, it's always something of a sight to be seen whenever these animals are found crossing the road pickerel like this one was. Like this one, and I'm scaring the heck out of her. I think it's a her. Could be him. Beautiful. Look at this. Look at the size. That's like the adult size of a female wood frog. So there's some debate as to whether or not the pickerel frog or the wood frog are bigger. They're both at the bottom of the totem pole for the pond frogs. Well, I don't know. Maybe this is an abnormal size or maybe this is an average size. I don't know. I've never quite seen an adult pickerel frog in these areas that we're uh, filming in. I want to see if he'll let me pick them up. There it is, guys. Beautiful, beautiful frog. Here, let me put you up here, buddy. Look at that. Let me see. You see the yellow? The yellow part on the legs of the pickerel frog are to deter predators and also one thing that distinguishes them from the northern leopard frog. If it has yellow, then it's a pickerel frog. If it's completely plain and white on the underside, it's a leopard frog. This is the movie star type of a frog. I don't know, maybe I'm overreacting. I am so happy I stopped. I thought it was the toad. Uh, we had to come back to this area. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful frog. Such a beautiful frog. It's a beautiful, beautiful pickerel frog. You don't get a chance to see these guys very often. I'm very thankful I got a chance to pull it off the road. Avoided two cars, so this guy's a very, very beautiful and a very, very lucky pickerel frog. And you can see the female toads that I've picked up along the way there such a beautiful frog these are one of the most misunderstood and fascinating frogs in the state i have a safe space right here that i'm getting ready to release him at um, i just wanted to show you look at this beautiful frog poor mrs pickerel frog come off you go you're in a safe place He's good. 
As we move back to the present day Frog Week 2023, I wanted to take a minute to give a special thanks to Josh's Frogs who sponsored all five of the Frog Week projects. I couldn't have done it without you guys. And I wanted to also give a special thanks to Feeple Credit Union and the Erie Zoo who have also decided to partner with us in the conservation project Frog Week. Thank you all for your support. Frog Week 2020 and Frog Week 2021 were just scratching the surface with these animals. Every time I saw them, of course I would rejoice and be excited, but it wasn't until the nonprofit and Frog Week were able to coordinate that I pitched the idea to make the pickerel frog one of our target species. It was approved in the following board meetings and then I began getting to work, identifying where this animal lives, a lot of its characteristics, its history, and all kinds of other things, so that way, in present day, we could begin to identify where these animals live and how we can help them moving forward. Pickerel frogs have a unique breeding season. It's usually sandwiched in between the American toad and the eastern gray tree frog breeding seasons. They usually pick up steam towards the tail end of the first round for the American toads and usually during the beginning of the eastern gray tree frogs. So it's a much smaller window if you're going to film these animals during their breeding season. That's exactly what we ran into this year, is I only got so much footage and only had so much time to find them while all of the action was really picking up for the gray tree frogs this year. Even though I knew that they were abundant in these areas, bodies of water like this, just really cool to see. Um, there's one directly in front of me and I've been recording him for the last like maybe 10 or more minutes. He's pretty calm, he's pretty chill. He doesn't seem to care that I'm here. But you know, this is the kind of habitat that these pickerel frogs like, which is, you know, so different from everybody else you know gray tree frogs american toads and wood frogs are all vernal pool breeders pickerel frogs are not pickerel frogs are um you know a pond breeder even though they have a mountainous tendency and a terrestrial or semi-terrestrial tendency uh yeah they're a, a semi-terrestrial frog but they breed in the deep water you know, he's, he's completely floating above the water. He's really not on anything, which is unlike, you know, the vernal pool breeders who are on the ground and stationary, have their feet in the ground. This guy does not. So just a unique change up, if you will, from what we saw last night, but also what we normally see. So what you're seeing on the phone, you can see the white belly of the pickerel frog that was calling back and forth with me. I don't know, I think Maria got it on her video footage, but that is a pickerel frog right there. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Not the best shot, but it also looks really similar to a leopard frog but it's not. Water. Well guys, you can see a cobweb. Look at that cobweb. There's a couple of cobwebs. Yes, that's a cobweb. Yeah, it's something stuck in them. Yeah. Well, there's a little Sitting on these trails waiting for beetles and worms and other creatures to go past so that way they could eat them. Um, same thing with salamanders. You'll often find like slimy salamanders and redback salamanders. So even though this does take over and go through their habitat, it also becomes a cheat sheet for these animals because the most to... important things we're looking at are how we can help the pickerel frog offspring, like the tadpoles, whenever they're in standing bodies of water that are drying up. Can we move them to permanent bodies of water that are nearby? Finding their offspring has been the biggest challenge, and we haven't been able to do that yet for Frog Week 2023. That's one of the things we're trying to do in the conservation for pickerel frogs in our area. Around this time, actually, at Kimberly Run, they're flowering, and then they produce a berry, like a blackberry, 
and it's actually edible, you can eat it. Usually, whenever we have a frog walk at this location, or whenever we come out here to film, we see pickerel frogs. However, this year that wasn't the case. The star animal was nowhere to be found. For whatever reason, we were either too late, or too early, or the conditions just weren't right to see them. We haven't given up hope yet, we're still looking to see if we can conserve pickerel frog habitat or if we can find offspring and see what we can do to help. But this was a little bit of a disappointment during a really exciting and a really action-packed frog week and also a really action-packed frog walk at this location. They're both the same species. The American bullfrog, yeah, that's the largest species. So who could tell me what the second largest species of frog is in Pennsylvania? No, it was the largest, remember? It's not. It's actually tied with a few other species. Do all that. They're gonna have you come back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, those might be wood frog tadpoles as well. They're too big to be toad tadpoles. Why? Yeah. Well, but if they're thunder, they're awesome. they're you can see. It looks like that's the only spot where the toads lay their eggs. That could be one or two. Salamander. <laughs> it eats other salamander species. Does he become yeah. a summer salamander in a couple of months? This is what it looks like. This is the adult. To put this episode into perspective, we were able to showcase and document all of the pickerel frog sightings that we've had over the last few years of Frog Week. We were able to showcase what we found this year, our plan moving forward for how we're going to help these animals, and we were able to showcase yet another fantastic frog walk, this time demonstrating the spring salamander as being the most common species of the night. But special thanks to everybody for that frog walk, and special thanks to you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and share for more Frog Week content. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks, guys.